What is up guys, Kill Empire here. Cotton Cookie has just dropped in Cookie Run Kingdom, so I wanted to make this video giving my thoughts on this cookie as well as a little bit of a gameplay showcase with PvE, PvP, and guild boss battle. Because on paper, this cookie is kind of insane. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So if you guys are unaware of what Cotton Cookie does, she is a support cookie that is going to summon three cotton sheep at a time, which will dash and stun targets when summoned, as well as she will do healing. Cotton Cookie will also be increasing the attack of summoned creatures, as well as the Cotton Cookie little sheep will be on field to be able to tank attacks as well as deal damage. Their field time is a little bit short, but with the cooldown that Cotton Cookie has, it is very... Fluid. All right, so for our first test, we're going to be using both level 30 with naked toppings, nothing on them, but our skills are both going to be level 30. The cotton cookie is going to be three star, and the treasures are going to be the exact same with Revival Feather, OP Scroll, and the Jelly Watch. Let's start. Let me light the way to victory. As you can kind of see here, Cotton Cookie is demolishing this uh, this Frost Queen. But to be fair, Frost Queen is built more for an AoE purpose, while these sheeps, these Cotton Sheeps, are bashing onto the Frost Queen as a single unit. Uh, so this is not really indicative of how good the characters are. It's just a fun little test to see 1v1-ing. All right, now for this test, we're going to do Pumpkin Pie level 60 with toppings, and their Sea Fairy is level 60 with toppings, and our... Two cookies are still level 30 with no toppings as well. Let's go and see how this works with oh, double CC it'll nonsense. Oh my god, okay, well that's kind of, okay, that's kind of a little bit unfair, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> well, let's try putting some toppings on for cooldown and stuff. For this next fun test, I'm going to be using level 45 Cotton Cookie. I leveled it up and leveled up her skill, and I swapped over all of Pure Vanilla's toppings to end up having 25.5% damage resist, 11% cooldown, 4.6% uh, attack, and uh, the other stats as you see there. So we are going to be trying on 829. I'm not very hopeful that we're going to win, seeing how we only have 32,000 power versus a 98,000 power recommendation, but let's go and see what happens. Oh, those sheep look like they're very squishy in a way. Their timer is very short. Uh, I think Cotton Cookie will be great in guild battle, and we'll be showcasing that a little bit later. And this is actually working out pretty nicely, in my opinion. Uh, the <laughs> sheep are bashing them down and surviving long enough to finish out the waves before they time out. Pretty cool. Look at all this healing as well, too. The big question is, can we beat the boss fight? The cooldown seems very nicely timed as well too. Wow, Cotton Cookie is really, really clean. It kind of feels weird that they did this and releasing this type of cookie after Pumpkin Pie. Obviously, using Pumpkin Pie and Cotton would be great. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stun locked. Oh no, we actually lose because of stun lock. Oh wait, we're coming back maybe with the Revival Feather. Oh, hey, that's solo at level 45 on 829. Pretty cool. <laughs> We did have to use the Revival Feather, but that still was really, really awesome to see. I'm glad I could help. One last test comparison I want to do was a Licorice versus Cotton Cookie in Guild Battle. Do not copy this Guild Battle team. This is not a very good Guild Battle team, uh, especially when it comes to Twizzly. You really do want to replace Twizzly with something like Vampire. Even Poison Mushroom or Raspberry is just as good. Like, when I run Raspberry, level 50, and Vampire, all that kind of stuff, I do the same damage, if not more. It's just I'm kind of lazy, and I don't like switching my teams or gear. So we're just going to use our Twizzly here. Let's see what kind of score we can get. So the reason why you bring uh, Licorice as well too, if you guys are unfamiliar with it, is so that you can go and tank the first swipe, which hits three targets in the guild boss. 
So we're going to summon Cotton Cookie like that and do that little bit here and eat the swipes with her little sheep and do our attack there. And now that we have Cotton Cookie instead of Licorice, we have somebody who can essentially heal and keep our people alive for like a wave or so. So it's actually allowing us to break through and deal a little bit of damage onto the enemies here. And you saw how it tanked the swipe again with the three sheep. Let's see if we can get another one in there. You can get another stun and it pushes them back. And let's see if... Oh, so close. If Sorbet Shark could have just gotten that extra skill off. Maybe we could have AoE'd and hit the dragon and the monsters. It did extend the time quite a bit, but let's see. 2.3 million with Cotton Cookie. And now we'll do a quick test where we swap out Cotton Cookie with Licorice. As I was saying, to be fair, the Licorice is only level 40 in this comparison test and is using its own specific uh, topping piece set, which is not a very good set as compared to the Cotton Cookie, which was using the plus 12 set from Pure Vanilla, but it's not really guild boss oriented either. So let's speed this up to 1.5 times speed. And walk on up. I just don't think Licorice's damage as well as the defense buff is really that beneficial compared to what Cotton Cookie can bring for this fight. Let's see here. I'm not too sure if anybody crit or didn't crit, but we're just roughly seeing what is going on here. Okay, I think our Dark Choco died there a little bit, so we can add a little bit, but our Dark Choco is level 35 with really crappy topping, so it wouldn't really amount to much. 2.1k. Let's just do one more run of each one for this video, just so we can see kind of like an average of what might happen. Just in case one run crits and one run doesn't crit as well too. Just have a little bit of um, consistency. Doesn't look like either of them crit, really. We'll see. I think the Twizzly Cookie also did a lot less damage on this one, because she didn't die after using her skill. We were able to pierce the boss, but we died immediately anyways. <laughs> 2.1. So we're getting about 2.1, and let's just do one more run with Cotton Cookie here. Alright, so we're going to use Dark Chocolate for defense down, then Cotton Cookie to summon the Sheep to eat that first swipe, and use everybody's skills with the Slingshot active. Do another one. Go down again. We're going to use Slingshot and Dark Chocolate to get defense down, and then use Cotton Cookie immediately after getting unstunned, maybe. <laughs> and then Sorbet Shark. Defense down here. And that looks like about it. And our score again was 2.4. So it could be a level difference with Licorice and Cotton Cookie as well as a topping difference. But I mean, I definitely think it's a great thing that Cotton Cookie can serve as a replacement for Licorice, if not possibly better for him. Uh, just because she spawns the three sheep to eat that swipe, heals, um, does, you know, fairly decent damage, and healing helps you survive, so you have less gear requirements and less level requirements as well, too. So, personally for myself, I will be using a cotton cookie a lot more unless some huge definitive evidence comes out that Licorice is just empirically better, because I'm going to be building this up for PvE and PvP purposes as well. Another thing I should mention as to why Cotton could be a lot better is the fact that Cotton doesn't really deal a whole lot of damage to the boss or damage at all because she just heals. So um, she doesn't take that reflect damage that the boss does have, which would be killing Licorice as well too.
That's all the testing we'll be doing with Cotton Cookie today. I know that wasn't a whole lot of testing as well as the levels weren't absolutely maximized, but from what I saw from doing that 1v1 sort of PvP testing against Frost Queen as well as the PvE with having a very lower, a lot lower power requirement than the stage suggests and still being able to do it pretty comfortably uh, outside of getting stun locked and also doing really well in the guild boss, I'm very sad as to have a Cotton Cookie. I think she's a very, very good cookie to begin with but it is also weird that dev sister seems to be pulling out like these power creeps over and over again i hope we kind of get a little bit of a low moment where one of the cookies just isn't really meta isn't really that great so that we don't have to start burning a bunch of crystals over and over again so we can get them uh this cookie is obviously going to be a lot better when you pair it with uh cookies that summon ads such as pumpkin pie uh personally for myself i will be testing some pvp team comps using cotton cookie with pumpkin pie later down the road so make sure you guys are subscribed to check out these other testing videos we will also be doing a lot more frost queen tests with our other account that account that we pvp'd against is our alternate account that got lucky on our summons if you guys watch our summon video hopefully she is a really good character and if you guys did not know for those that are kind of being more free to play there is an event where you can kind of attempt to get her uh with the raid up as well as in the seaside trade harbor it seems like it will be alternating with the sea fairy soul stone as well as the frost queen soul stone because on pure vanilla on day one of the release uh it seems like people do have uh frost queen in their shop while well, currently you see here i have sea fairy so it will be uh rng or alternating for players we'll see also, kind of as a final notion for this video, we are currently recruiting in Hollyberry. Our guild was formerly like top 25. However, some people became a little bit inactive. So with 28 guild members, we are still like top 30-ish, especially because we've only had 16 people attack the guild boss right now. So if you guys are looking for a big guild, especially with the new coming update where you're going to get more crystals, the more trophies your guild has, feel free to hit us up in the Discord or in the comments down below if you guys are looking to join. We're kind of looking for people that can do at least like kind of like a million and looking to improve their guild score. You don't have to look... You don't have to build it up immediately, but ultimately people who are interested in scoring well in the guild as well as can consistently fight the guild boss, aka don't miss your guild boss. But thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Cookie Run content. We will be posting more PvP content as well too because I am kind of top 200, 100-ish in Mayhem as well as in regular Arena. Make sure you guys like and comment down below what you guys think of Cotton Cookie as well as Frost Queen Cookie. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pie to watch live Cookie Run content. And follow the Twitter, the TikTok, and the Instagram for other Cookie content as well too. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!